Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Um, I am looking at um, working with a pattern of tiles, a tile tile pattern. With that tile pattern, uh, determining what the uh, z the figure before zero figure and fourth figure, the figure after, what they would look like. Creating a table of values, writing the algebraic rule, and then as well graphing that rule, and then determining what figure five would be uh from my graph okay so a lot there but we'll go we'll go through this this is a problem that is coming from uh cpm and this is course three section 3.2.2 number 3-84 so it says draws figure zero and figure four for the pattern below so here's our our, our pattern our, our our first figure, second figure, third figure. So if I look at just the growth of this, right? First figure has one block. It's one block on top of the horizontal of three. This has got two and then on top of four. And this is three on top of five. So you notice each one is growing by one, right? So it's going, it's getting taller by one. And it's also then getting longer by one. So if I'm going to back this up to figure zero, what would figure zero look like? Well, it wouldn't have one on top and it would only have two blocks on its side. So figure zero is going to look like that, right? Because it was growing by one on top and growing by one out. So it's going the other way, it would be shrinking. So figure four, figure four, let's see, we'll have on the bottom of it, it's going to have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five here. So there's going to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six in the bottom. This has three, so it's going up by one. So now it's going to have four. Okay. So that's what figure four would look like. So it wants me to represent the number of tiles in an XY table. What does that mean? So this is yours. Usually your figure number is your X. Okay, your X value, and then your Y value is the number of tiles, number of tiles. So figure number one, actually, we'll start with zero. I have zero. Figure number zero has two tiles. Figure number one has four. Figure number two has six. Figure number three has eight. Figure number four, right? If we count all those, there's six down there four up there that's 10. so that's our x and y table for our figures so what's the algebraic rule so what am i doing each time what what can i do to this number to get to this number what do i do that's how you find your rule right we notice the growth is two each time and we notice our zero figure has two so how I figure out my rule, normally, again, when you're looking at your rule, your rule is going to be something times X plus something, right? Sometimes that something is just a zero, but in this case, it is something because I know my figure zero has two. So if I plug in zero and X, that whole thing goes to zero. So how, how do I get a two? Well, the only way to do that is to add two. So now I got to determine what is being multiplied. So let's just check two here, two to six. How do I go from two to six? Well, if I take two and multiply by two, then add two, that gives me six, right? Here, the same thing. If I take three, multiply by two, I get six, then add two, I get eight. So my rule then would be a two times the, the X. So my rule is Y is equal to two X plus two. It's multiply by two, then add two. There's my rule, okay? So now I'll graph this. So I'm going to graph it. I, I don't need, I'm only going to go uh, up to four. So I'm going to skip along the way. So here's my zero, right? This is the zero, zero. That's zero, zero. I have my X and Y coordinates, my X here, my Y here on my axes. That's zero. So I'm going to go, I'm going to skip two and call that one. Skip and call that two. Skip. I know it's kind of light and call that three and that's four, and that's five, and that's six, and so on and so forth, okay? So then this direction, I gotta get up to 10. So let's see, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to you. I can probably do the same thing. So I'm going to skip and go one, two. Oh, maybe that won't work. Let me see. Three, four, five, six, seven. It won't give me to 10. So I got I to gotta go by ones normally. So this is going to be two, four, six. That's eight. And then I made myself. That's 10. And then that's 12. And that's 14. So I'm going by ones, but yet I'm only writing the, the, the by twos. Okay, does that make sense? All right, so now let's graph them. So once again, X is the figure number. So it's nice on your graph to actually label your axes. And then my Y axis here is the number of tiles, right? So we have, let's just graph our points. So the zero is at two. So that's zero, two. One is at four. Two is at six, which is right there. Three is at eight, right there. And four I have at 10. So if I think about where I'm, my pattern, I see this linear pattern. So it says without drawing figure five, predict where your point would lie on the graph. So if you think about this pattern, what's happening? Every figure number, I'm growing one are growing two tiles, right? So here's every figure number. This grows by one, and then this grows by two. That's my, my pattern of growth. This grows by one, and then this grows by two. So my pattern is one to two, one to two, when I think about the numbers. So I'm going to do it again, one. So I'm going to go by one and go up two. So right there is my fifth one. So that would be at 5, 12. So 12 tiles in figure five. Okay. All right. There we go.